In today's video, I will show you how to convert an SVG file into an STL file for 3D printing. We will design a cake topper in Affinity Designer, which you can use either on iPad or computer. Open Affinity Designer and start by drawing a rectangle. This will be our reference to make sure the top up doesn't get too big. I will use 190 by 150 millimeter. If you can't see the transform panel, go over to Window and down to Transform and click on it. It will show up then. In the transfer panel, you can change the width and the height. Next, go to the Color tab and remove the fill. Change the outline to any color you like and set the stroke width to 0 0.5. Next, select the text tool and type in your wording. I will use Happy Birthday for this tutorial. Write each word separately. Perfect. Now grab the Move tool, select them both and make them a bit larger. This will make it easier to see which font we selected, which is also the hardest part. Picking the font can take me ages, so I will skip this part and fast forward to when I'm done. Alright, Bernadette it is. Select the font and then shift the words into position. Try to make them center or whatever works best and then increase the size to fit within the frame. The words need to overlap in some spots so they connect into one contour when printed, which also makes its top us sturdier. Don't worry about getting the overlap perfect just yet, we will fine tune that in the next steps. When you're happy with the placement, select the text, right click and choose Convert to Curves. This will break the text function and convert everything just to outline and curves. Use the Node tool to edit the text contour where you think it's needed. For example, you can extend the T to hit the top text here. Select the nodes and shift them up. Do the same wherever you think it's needed. For example, you can extend the Y, the curve of the Y, to extend over into the D. Shift the nodes to make the curve smoother. Extend nodes so parts connect, make fragile areas wider or longer, or shift details like the dot on the eye so it connects and doesn't get lost. Perfect. If you select the text and remove the fill color, then give the outline a color you will see that all the letters are still separate and they are overlapping, which is good, which is what we want. Looking at it like this has highlight spots that could use tweaking. I decided to strengthen the letter B by pulling the middle section to the left. This part over here. And for the R, I moved the notes around to give it a bit more width. Keep adjusting until the contour looks right to you. You can delete notes and you can also adjust the curve of each note. The last one I will adjust is the T. I will just make this curve a bit wider. When you're happy with the adjustments, select the whole text and click on Add to combine everything into one contour. Perfect. As you can see, every letter is now connected. Next step is to add the stick. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. 
I will go with 100 by 7 mm for now. Enter the dimensions in the transform panel. At the top, under contour, select straight. Untick single radius, so you can add a chamfer to the bottom only. Change both top left and top right to zero and bottom left and bottom right to 50%. This will give you this pointy end here. Shift it over to the center. Right about here is okay for now. Looking at it right now, I find the text a bit too thin. To thicken it, use the contour tool and type in 0.5 mm. This will make it just a tiny bit wider. Finally, shift the stick into position so it connects with the text. Try to place it somewhere in the middle. I will go with here. And zoom in to check that both corners of the stick are within the contour. Perfect. Now we can select the stick and the text and click Add to make it one contour. Delete the frame. It's not needed anymore. Now select the contour and change it to a full color fill. This is important because using a fill allows Bamboo Studio to detect the contour and make it solid. The design is ready for export. Go to File, Export and choose SVG as the file format and save it to your computer. Open Bamboo Studio and import the file. It will come in too large, so select it and click on Scale at the top here and type in 150 mm for the X dimension. This looks very good. Now rotate the topper by 180 degrees so the front faces down. This way, the print plate texture will transfer to the front of your cake topper. It will look so good. As a final step, go into the speed settings and reduce the initial layer speed by half. Make it 25 instead of 50. This will make the front surface come out even nicer. Now click on slice plate and send it to your printer. I'm using a Bamboo Lab P1S with generic red PLA filament. Once it's printed, you will see why I orientated it facing down. The plate texture shows up beautifully on the front. I really love how this turned out. And that's it. I hope you like it and this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or join my new Facebook group 3D printing for crafters. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.